Hello beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. Oh my god, I am so excited. Like this is the first sit down talk video I'll be doing in a while. This is my first um, Q&A. Like this is my first video sitting down and talking in the UK. So I am super excited about this. If you are seeing me for the very first time, hi, hey girl, hey guy. My name is Samuel. I'm a registered nurse, a singer and a songwriter. Mainly on this channel, I do a lot of lifestyle, some tips in there, this and that, just to help and make things a little bit spicy. And um, if you definitely like it, please make sure to subscribe. So I recently published my relocation vlog and I must say that you guys have totally impressed me. The video has gained over 30 subscribers and it has gained over 1,400 views, which is way beyond any of my vlogs because my vlogs before now only 70, 60, 50, sometimes even 20 views that I just get. And you know, I was just like, God, when will my YouTube channel blow? So, but you guys amazed me. So, yeah, after posting the videos, I got a lot of um questions on my twitter on my youtube and everything so i do decided to collate all the questions and that is what this video is all about so i'll be answering those questions and make sure to watch until the end So the first question says that how long does the process take to be honest with you guys this is a very difficult question because things are a bit muddy right now because before before things became really difficult before the red listing and everything came up uh, maximum of six months you should be in the uk but things are a bit difficult right now and then the competition is really tough because a lot of people have gotten to know about this process so it is becoming very difficult like thousands hundreds of thousands of nurses are competing for that position so you can only imagine how difficult it can be to get such a job so i don't want you to give up i don't want you to lose hope for the process usually takes long now like there's no specific amount of time or i just want to say that don't give up keep praying and you know everything will work for you so every person has like their different story because me uh, like from the moment I wrote my IELTS that I passed and uh, to me relocating is just roughly around four months, a little bit over four months. Yeah, that's it for me. And some people have passed everything for close to a year and they are still in their country. So everybody with their story. Another question says that, did you use an agency to get a job? No. Um, if you know about the red listing that is going on right now in some countries such as Nigeria, where I am from. so you cannot use an agency to get a job from this kind of countries and it's because of the policy that our governments have made you know with wh or whoever is in charge of making this red list and stuff <laughs> so um no i did not use an agency to get a job but there are so many ways that you can get a job easily the first thing is to get as many relevant certifications as possible the second thing is to try not to filter your location the third thing is to pray there are so many other tips that i can bring to you guys so if you want to make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section down below so another question says that how did you solve your extra baggage issue so if you watched my relocation video i'm going to link it in the description i definitely had lots of issue with my um, luggage and this is because i sometimes get a little bit too emotionally attached to my things so i was sort of in the middle of which one am i going to park which one am i going to leave it was really somehow difficult for me to be honest so i was just like oh god <laughs> so i packed a little bit of things that were unnecessary and then i had a little bit of too much food so um you know depending on the airline but i think mostly everyone's um required distance should be 23 so i was asked to pay like thirty thousand to be able to get extra but i was like it's not worth it because if i convert that thirty thousand to pounds i should be able to buy some things so maybe i was wrong maybe i'm not but what i just decided to do was to reduce the things like to reduce some of the food you know maybe right uh, i did not carry rice so but maybe rice that was like two congo before i reduced it to one Congo just to be able to have space to carry everything but not in the 
quantity that I had desired. The luggage ended up being like 23.8, 23.9. So that one was still allowed as long as it's not up to 30. I mean 24. So another question says that were you asked questions at Birmingham airport? Yes, we were asked questions at the Birmingham airport. The tip that I want to give you guys is that every paper that you've been submitting prior your processing, even if you're traveling as a student and not as a worker, everything that you have been so your admission letter, everything that you've submitted with the school, every form of interaction that has to do with document, make sure you have it in your backpack because they can ask for this, your COS, your employment letter your contract everything make sure you have it in your backpack or at least you have the P the pdf but to be on the safer side make sure you have it in your backpack so um we asked questions about where we're going to work uh, the number of hours and then please if they don't ask you a question shut up Continue. because i you know if you watch my video we were three that traveled together so they were asking the questions i did not know that he wasn't facing me that he was facing the lady in between us or maybe amongst us so i was just answering and he told me to shut up i felt a little bit embarrassed but yeah probably he felt that she looked a bit scared or something that's why he decided to ask her those questions i don't know but then you know just to save yourself embarrassment if they are not asking you any question please just shut it Another question says that did you relocate as a general nurse? Yes, I relocated to the UK as a general nurse and I did my nursing, like I went to a school of nursing in Nigeria. I did my IELTS in Nigeria and my examiners were black people like me, African people like me because this was one of the misconceptions I had then that hey, how will I be examined by uh, a white person for my IELTS yes, but no it was a black person although their English were superb to be honest so what are the questions I mean the steps to relocate to the UK as a nurse so there are lots of videos about this on YouTube I'm not going to start breaking them all out in this video because <laughs> this video is going to take forever if I should do that but if you guys want a video on that I want you to leave a comment and I'll definitely work on it but the first thing I want to say is that if you do not have an international passport, if you have not yet graduated, please don't even bother yourself with all this. Make sure you have graduated. Make sure you are already having your international passport. How is the weather over here? Well, <laughs> the weather is nice. Sometimes it can be naughty. Sometimes the weather can be frustrating, to be honest with you. But, you know, we move we move <laughs> but there's this thing about the weather that i don't like it can be raining now the next it's um sunny it's just like august in nigeria that you don't know which weather to expect that's how the weather in the uk is throughout do you write your ilts in nigeria yes i've already answered that question earlier i wrote my ilts in nigeria i already shared my relocation process with you guys i make sure i blocked everything like i made sure i did every vlog even though it was really uncomfortable i made sure i did the vlogging so if you haven't watched it please make sure to go to my playlist section and watch my relocation series i've blocked everything you can just watch it so i did my ilts in ibadan nigeria Another question says that what about my music career? To be honest with you, uh, I don't know. And um, I am still doing features. Like if somebody wants to feature me in their song, fine, I'll do it. But as for a solo career, like a solo song, I don't know. I don't know to be honest because coming here, I thought everything would be better of roses, but it's really not as simple as I thought it would be, to be honest with you guys. It well, I'm just going to take a chill pill. I'm just going to relax for the moment, have a look around and learn how to, you know, cope with things first before I can say that, okay, I'm going to go back into music. But I do have a featured song. I do have a collaboration that just came out on the 21st of July. It's called Ibaltun from the album Metamorphosis by Abiola Victor. It's available everywhere. So I'm going to link it in the description also. So do make sure to check it out and um, show your boys some love. So another question says that how much in total did you spend 
support your relocation process so uh i know how tough it can be especially with the economy and things i know it can be really difficult and especially due to the change rate the change rate is like a thousand and hundred naira to one pound right now it can be really difficult but one thing i just want to say is that don't worry about the cost of relocation because i remember when i wanted to start my processing in 2019 the total amount was like 250,000 naira and i was just like god where will i get this money because my salary was like around 30,000 naira then and i was just like how long do i have to save to be able to have this much money and you know i was just wondering that worried about it for a long time and did not even like do anything so what one thing i just want to say is that please do not worry about the cost don't even bother yourself thinking about the cost if you have money for international passport let's say international passport is like forty thousand naira, fifty thousand naira, and you have the money for that go and do that first if you have money for your verification go and do that first if you have money for your ilts eighty nine thousand naira, go and do that like that's just how I just did it. Like as I have the money for this, I just do it. As I have the money for this one, I do it. And that's how I was able to do it. So don't bother like waiting until, okay, I have, until I have like 2 million euro before I start. No, 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 don't even bother about that. Once you have this, do it. Once you have that, do it. But um, one thing I want to advise is that make sure you have like something to start with. Because um, before I started mine, I, um, make sure i had like i think a hundred and fifty thousand era so that you know the space between my next um step wouldn't take so long because you know all these processes expire so i i, I don't want it to be like taking too long before i do the next thing so what are the secrets to get a job faster to be honest with you guys i think i've mentioned it earlier i can't remember but um many people are like oh i want to get a job in london i want to get a job in this this and that don't worry about that just make sure you come to the uk first then you can work on moving to another place so make work on getting to the uk first then you can worry about moving to another place then pray pray make sure you have lots of um valid certifications once you have all this you don't really have anything to worry about then apply for lots of jobs because you are like competing against thousands of people so hundreds of thousands in fact did you pay or do a training for your ielts no i did not do a training for my ielts so i just did personal training like i read by myself and i was able to score my ielts as a very good score with even having 8.5 in listening so guys, I'm planning on launching my IELTS private classes and um, at a very cheap rate. But I, I, I want to make sure that I have people who are willing to go for it. I don't just want to start something and then not having customer. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, please do let me know. You can hit me in my Gmail, Instagram and everything. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you liked it, make sure to give me thumbs up, share and comments and so until next time bye